So welcome back from the break. Let's do return to our earlier story about the Accra Metropolitan Assembly, which has now uh, digitalized its revenue collection. And we've been joined in the studio by the uh, Director of Revenue, uh, so the Head of Budget and Rating at the AMA. He's Noble Achu Ahaji. I have him in studio now. Good afternoon to you. Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us. Uh, thank now, uh, so do I take it that as we speak, if anyone wants to make payment to the assembly, it has to, it has to go through that, that platform? Yes, it has to go through that platform. Mm -hmm. But then we're doing a, a pilot okay. at uh, Asie Duketeke. That's the main central business district. Okay. Uh, so that is why we are doing a pilot for now. Mm -hmm. We are expecting that after the pilot, we extend it to the other two sub-metros mm -hmm. so that it will cover the whole area, okay. the whole metropolis. Okay. So, so, so run me through how it works. How does it work? Yes, uh, um, what we do is that uh, somewhere last year, we went out to collect data mm. on the businesses. You know, we have the various block within uh, uh, our municipality. Mm. So from block to block, we pick the businesses that are there, mm. we pick data on them in terms of the contact, in terms of the business name, in terms of location, uh, the business owner's name and the type of business you are doing, the categorization, and how much you are supposed to pay. Mm. So we pick this data, and we process the data. So based on that data, we give that data out. And that enables us to be able to send out bills to our customers. So you receive an SMS message, then you follow the prompt from there. You follow the, the message, and you'll be able to do your payment okay. based on what you have received. Mm. Uh, we know we may have internet challenges at some places, mm -hmm. so we are also making use of the USSD code, mm. where when you want to pay, you dial star 222 star mm. 33 hash, then that will help you. No matter the type of phone you are using, you'll be able to go through and make mm. uh, payment. Mm. So immediately you receive a message, you just tap on the link, then you'll be able to follow mm. and do the payment. Mm. And as you do your payment, you receive the receipt, and you can print your business certificate, okay. which you can display in your shop, so that oh, when we okay. come for monitoring, mm. we'll see that and mm. good to go. So, so that has nothing to do with the daily um, revenue collection, like the ticketing and, and all of that. that. That's not part. Yes, we ticketing was part of it. The daily collection, the daily tool, mm -hmm. was part of what we started. Uh, initially, we were looking at the bogus. We are looking at uh, the market tools, mm. Mm. the parking tools, and uh, the business operating permit. Mm. But then, you know, you may go out with uh, a digitalized form of uh, collecting revenue. Mm -hmm. But then, at the same time, you need your customers to give you a feedback on whatever you are doing. Mm -hmm. So when we went out with the daily tool, they are feedback informers that we have to withdraw and do some few things. Okay. Uh, currently, we are doing the daily tour alongside the manual collection of the daily tour. Okay. Because we realize that some of them are interested in doing the daily tours on their phone. Mm -hmm. So on your phone, you do the payment. So we've encouraged those who want to do it to do it. Then we go back to put some few things in place to be able to roll it out fully. Mm. So mm. that is currently, that is what is happening. Mm. But with business operating permit, it's fully operational. Okay. Uh, how, uh, what sort of efficiency has that brought to your operations? Yes, uh, a lot of efficiency. Mm. One, at the comfort of uh, the person's office or home, he's able to do payment. Mm. Uh, you don't need to receive bill because the SMS message will come. Then based on that, you, you, you do your payment. Mm. Then also, the issue whereby you have the traders arguing with our revenue collectors, why they said, no, this is the amount you have to pay. No, last time I pay, uh, but I can't find my receipt. Mm. It's over. That struggle, that sort of confrontation is no more. Then also, back in the office, on, 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 on what we have, on the system, real time, you'll be able to see what is happening. For instance, if a shop A owner do payment right away on the system, I'll be able to see it. Mm. Other people who have access to the system 
like the mayor, like my coordinating director, the finance director, and so on. All of them will see that this person has paid. This is the amount you have paid. This is what is left. So you realize that that monitoring and that transparency will be there. Mm. For mm. the rate payer who has paid, that accountability is there because you have your receipt, mm. which you can produce that I have paid. Okay. Yes. Mm. So, what about people trying to shortchange the system prior to this, this particular platform that, that you've had? Have you seen any difference between the revenue collection and when it was manual? Yes, there is a lot of difference. Mm. For instance, uh, within the market, uh, when they interviewed Mayor, she said when she came, she observed the system and small research she got information from, realized that people have a lot of tickets they give out. And if you go to the market, sometimes the sort of tickets they give out, you may not be able to distinguish between the genuine one and the mm. fake one. Mm. That has been a lot of difficulty. So that makes some of them saying that I would not pay because this money I'm paying, I don't know why it is going. There is no assurance that this money is hitting the account of AME to be used for development project. So you realize that a lot of people know they have to pay, but some of them are not willing to pay because they realize uh, the sort of ticket they receive are different. and They don't know what is happening. Okay. Uh -huh. So currently, on the dashboard, you will be able to see what we have been able to generate these few months mm. and compare to what you, the previous years, mm. 2022, 2023, mm. you, you can see the difference. Okay. So the inflow is good. Mm. And uh, we hope our rate payers will cooperate with us. And uh, we also take their feedback and be able to improve the system mm. and get things moving. So it's getting better okay. than it used to be. Is it a third party contract? Yes. Uh, you know, uh, mostly this involves a lot of financial commitment and infrastructure, mm -hmm. which most of the times you may not have the expertise to do that. So. It's good to rely on a third party to have that agreement. Then you get into it. You get them to help you to be able to do some of the things. Mm. From our end, what we are doing is that we are providing full support. That collaboration is there from the leadership of the assembly, from the assembly members down to the last person, mm -hmm. so that we'll be able to get this thing. It is not for uh, the third party. It is for the assembly. So we are giving all necessary support make sure it succeeds. Mm. So, so in, in terms of what we, we've received, how much is it? What's the, what's the quantum like? The quantum on the, on the, on the platform, of, uh, yeah, yes. The inflow. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, as, as of today, uh, for ASI Duketeke, we've been able to rake in about 1.6 million. 1.6 million? Yes, we, for, we, are, we are yet to go out. Okay. The 1.6 million that we can see on the platform mm. is just those who decide voluntarily to do their payment. Mm. We have not gone out for enforcement. Okay. We, we, we have not out there chasing any shop owner, mm. pay, pay, no. There is time for that. Okay. When we go out as a team, then we'll see the inflow. Mm. For now, we are doing education, we are creating awareness, we are helping them, those who have challenged, maybe you have received a bill, and you think what you have received is too high, or this is not the correct classification, we go out to help you to correct some of those things. Mm. And this is for January to this, this, this time, or from when to when? Yes. January to this time? January to June now. And that's just the voluntary. You have not gone to enforce. Yes. Wow. And then that, that's, that's a, a wonderful system then. So what the third party, how long will, will the third party be with you? Yes, for now they are on pilot basis. After mm. the pilot, that will be determined by us. Oh, so you've not determined, uh, you know. We've what was the arrangement like? The arrangement. I mean, the third party is offering services. I'm sure there will be some cost sharing yes. of a sort. Yeah. Yes, that, 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 that will come out later. Okay. You have not discussed that also? Yeah, we've not discussed that into detail. Okay. But the details will come out. Okay. Right. So, I mean, now that the third party is rendering a service, you've had some over something million cities. What is the share of that money for the third party? No, we've not started sharing. Okay. It's right in the account for now. Okay. And that will be discussed. Later? Yes. Wow. 
So is it, and that's for just the central business district. Yes, that's for the central business district. If you roll it out, roll it out to the AMA entirety, that, that, then that will rake in a lot of money for yes, you. Yes, and, and that, that is what we are looking forward to. Mm. Because for now, uh, we need to leverage on technology mm. and improve our services. Okay. We are not only looking at the revenue generators and assembly, no. Mm. But we are looking at making the services very efficient and very convenient to our rate payers. So that whatever that will come will be used for development project, which mm. will go to benefit mm. all citizens. Mm. So when do you intend ending the, the trial process and then beginning the real work itself? Yes, uh, the trial, we are doing it up to the end of the year. Okay. Then from next year, we should be able to kick off in all the three sub-metros. Mm. Mm. What sort of lessons have you picked since you started using the system? Yes, uh, well, one lesson is that... Uh, it brings about transparency. Mm. Transparency with the revenue collection we are having. Mm. Transparency on the part of the rate payers. Mm. Then we, we've also learned from this that uh, it is very important to engage the people. Mm. You cannot only leverage on technology and do what you want to do. But the people matters. And they should be at the center of what we are doing you take their feedback to improve whatever system you have. They should be at the center of what you are doing. We, we have also learned that uh, rendering such a service involve the internet mm. and involve using mobile phone okay. and involve, involve other means so you should have alternative. Mm. Mm. Then also, if the rate payer is supposed to pay, it shouldn't be a cost to him. Mm. So to him or her. So for now, if you are using the service, you have to use your mobile money to pay. There is no extra charge for you. Okay. If it so is 10 the, the telcos, the pay. telcos don't take any charge. They don't take any charge. Mm. If it is 10 CD, you have to pay as your bill. You just pay the 10 CD. Mm. You don't have to pay any extra on it. And that mm. is to help to bring all everybody on board mm. so mm. that we can have that inclusivity and uh, participation in revenue mobilization and mm. collection. Every system has its own challenges. What sort of, sort of challenge do you have with your platform? Yes, uh, the, the challenge we have right now, one is with the internet service, mm. where you may not be able to get at every place. Mm. And that is why we've, we, we've put in place the USB the code. Mm. The, the other challenge has to do with the, the threshold in terms of issuing check. Uh, the threshold is 3,000, above from 3,000 and above, you can easily use the system to do check payment. Okay. But we are reviewing that. We've talked to uh, our partners, and they are ready to come out with a very innovative one, mm. which will bring the figure down for anybody who wants to pay with check, maybe even with 500 cities, okay. use check, do check payment. OK, OK, oh, OK. Uh, so I can, I can use check to still pay on the system? Yes. How, how possible? How, yes. how is that possible? So when you go to the payment auction, mm -hmm. you see check there. You see bank transfer. Mm -hmm. So whatever you want to do, you click on that, and you'll be able to pay through the bank. Oh. The so if I want to pay with check, I have to scan the check? No, you don't have to scan the check. Mm -hmm. You generate a receipt that you send to the bank, and you do the payment there. Oh, OK. You generate an invoice that you send to the bank, and you do your mm -hmm. payment. Mm -hmm. And you get a notification? Yeah, we'll get a notification. Samuel has paid through the bank. Yes. And then you send his certificate to him he, through his phone. He, he will be able to print his certificate. Mm. Immediately, we get a notification. He will be able to print his certificate. So those who are using the, in quote, young phones, that, how, how do they get their certificate printed? Yes, for that one, you may not be able to get your certificate. Mm. Yeah, you may not be able. But when you, you are using the Android, Android. you will be able to get it. Mm. And uh, you can either get it to other places to be printed for mm. you if you cannot mm. do it yourself. Even if you come to the office, we'll still help you. Okay. Well, what's the lesson for other assemblies who will be watching by now? Yes. Uh, I believe with the technological age, it is good we should leverage on technology mm. and improve our services mm. so that that convenience comes to our rate payers. At the comfort of our offices, we can also monitor and be able to improve service delivery to our people. Uh, the manual way of doing things may not help us or it's not helping us. 
And that is why we have to move away from that mm. and be able to deliver a service that we can be proud of. Mm. You hope that this has dealt with corruption? You believe that it has dealt with corruption? Or? To, to a large extent. To a large extent. Mm. Because uh, we will not have people who issue different tickets to rate payers or different receipts to rate payers. Mm. But this one, you generate the receipt yourself. Mm. And we will also be able to see within the system that this is how much you have paid. And this is what we have done. And now, if we go out, we want to see those who are defaulted, those who haven't paid. It is very easy for us to see that on the dashboard and be able to print a list that these are the people uh, who haven't paid. These are our rate payers, and these are the challenges we have. So it, it okay. is so easy for us. All right. I'm grateful to you, sir, for, for joining us. Thank you. So he is uh, the head of budgeting and rating at the AMA Noble Achu Ahaji. This is all the pause on the Joy News Channel. Now.